Hey guys, I'm Brian. Today I want to talk about airplanes and specifically airplanes that don't exist. Uh, there are a lot of planes out there that do exist, but if you think about it, there's even more airplanes that don't exist. My point is there are a ton of aircraft out there that are designed to solve different functions and problems. However, I think we still have a lot of problems out there that can be solved with aircraft that don't yet exist. And I, I know what you're thinking right away. You're thinking, great opportunity, Brian. How come we don't have an airplane with hot air balloons on the end of each wing so that we can get in and out of places that don't require a runway? It'd be great. We could operate in small cities and towns and places without... Right, or you probably thinking, we've got airplanes that can drop water to put fires out and do crazy things like that. Why don't we have an airplane that can pour cold coarse light on the fraternity house? Obviously those need to exist, but that's low hanging fruit and that's not what I wanna focus on today. I wanna to focus on real problems that need real solutions and some planes I think that could solve them if someone who's smart and has a good engineering mind could get out there and build some of these planes. So first thing I wanna talk about, if you've ever been on the internet before, uh, you've probably seen this image. There's a ton of arguments and controversy out there about whether or not an aircraft could take off if it was on a treadmill going the opposite direction. We all know it wouldn't take off. I can explain why if you want. Um, what I would propose is we take a normal aircraft and remove the landing gear and replace it with a treadmill. This is genius. And of course, how it would work is you're flying and the treadmill landing gear would be retracted. This is a retract. Uh, when it comes time to land, you extend the treadmill landing gear and then you have a console on your yoke. Here, you would set the speed of the treadmill to match the ground speed of the airplane. That way, when you touch down, you touch down instantly at a complete stop. Uh, you, again, wouldn't need a runway. Uh, you could take off and land uh, practically vertically as long as the treadmill speed always matched the runway speed. This solves that problem and puts an end to that argument. I don't know why we don't have this. The second plane I think we need is a tow plane. And I'm not talking about planes that tow gliders. We have those, they're fantastic. What I'm talking about is when something goes wrong with your aircraft and you don't got time for this, you still have to get where you're going. I once had a flat tire as I was landing my Grumman on the runway, it blew out and I had to get pulled into a hangar. They had to repair the tire. It cost a lot of money and took a lot of time. If we had a simple plane like this that could tow my plane, I wouldn't have to stop and deal with maintenance and mechanics and all that kind of stuff. I could finish my trip. If we could get a plane that could tow a broken down plane to its destination so you could get to where you need to be and worry about the maintenance later, that would be great. Somebody needs to jump on this. Third and most important airplane I'm gonna talk about today is this one. This is right, the Tailwheel Bonanza. I've been flying for 10 years now and the two awesomest pilots I've ever come across are Tailwheel Pilots and Bonanza Pilots. And both of them will not hesitate to tell you how awesome their planes are uh, and how much their planes will make you a better pilot. I don't know why we have not combined the two of them to make some sort of uh, mesh together Voltron best of the best of the best pilot. Uh, I don't know what advantage this would give you, but I, I really can't believe it doesn't exist. If these two groups got together and we created the Tell, Will, V, Tell, Dr. Killer, Bonanza, uh, I think everybody would fly one. <laughs> this is a super important airplane that should exist. When you're buying an airplane, there's three things everyone cares about. Speed, fuel economy, and ability to carry stuff. Well, Mooney has solved two of those problems. It's very fast, it doesn't burn a lot of fuel, but if you've ever flown, in, when I've flown in a Mooney, both arms, I have to stick out the window, there's no room. So I noticed there's this uh, airplane that NASA has, and I think the military has, called the Super Guppy. This plane will carry uh, pretty much everything. And so I don't understand why Mooney hasn't gone ahead and created a version like this one. Now you've got the speed, the fuel economy, it's a retract, and you can fit a complete pilot in it, unlike a normal Mooney. All right, last but not least, I got a question for the military pilots, I guess the Air Force. Why don't we have airplanes where missiles fire out the back? Uh, I never joined the military, and if I did, I probably wouldn't be very uh, helpful. I'm, I'm super lazy. Uh, and I thought if I were going to uh, be a lazy military Air Force pilot, uh, I saw the movie where Doug Masters from Iron Eagle is like, I'll hit the brakes and he'll fly right by. You wouldn't have to if you could just uh, shoot a missile out. The missile wouldn't even need thrust. You just drop it and the other plane smacks right into it. I don't know why we don't have that. It seems like that's a super simple solution. In fact, while we're on the subject, why is it only the military that gets to shoot stuff out of their airplane? Um, I think it would be great if I'm flying along in my Cirrus and I accidentally bust airspace, if I could throw out some of these flares to throw off the ADSB so that they're not giving me these phone numbers to call all the time. I think we should have access to some of these other features uh, because it would make us safer, it would make our lives easier, um, and I don't know why we don't have it. 
All right, so I'm just scratching the surface here on these airplanes. If you guys can think of any other functions out there that there's not yet a plane to solve, let me know in the comments what you think we should have, and I'll do a deeper dive into some aircraft that we should have uh, these smart aircraft engineering folks designing for us. So appreciate everybody watching the video. Thanks to the Patreons. Thanks to Gold Seal. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing and sharing. Y'all fly smart, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.